experts say there has been a rise in property hunters across Qatar, but have the World Cup prices decreased? Low-income students say they are concerned for their future as Qatar University spikes its fees. It's marathon season. 8,000 runners are preparing to hit the road for the Uridu Doha Marathon. And we edge closer to the finals of Arabian Gulf Cup as Qatar faces off against Iraq and Amman takes on Bahrain. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Real estate experts have noticed an increase in property hunters post-World Cup. Residents across the country are now searching for a drop in prices after months of extortionate rates. Experts say clients delayed their search for new homes at the end of 2022 when complaints surrounding an increase in rent prices first emerged. Shockingly, some families saw their rents double in 2022. While residents expected the price to drop after the major tournament, this has yet to be reflected on the market. But as more supply becomes available in 2023, experts told Doha News the market is expected to become more competitive, which in effect will cause landlords to drop their prices, attract tenants and buyers. And now, Qatar University has hiked its rates. This includes tuition fees for non-Qatari undergraduates, all postgraduates, and its fees for on-campus housing. While this will not impact current students, the move has sparked backlash online. They say this will affect incoming students from low-income families most. Visit DohaNews.co for more details on the changes. And now, around 8,000 runners are preparing for the Uridu Marathon. The exciting run will Will start at the Corniche on Friday morning. Runners will then pass through Qatar, Lusay, before heading back to the Corniche. And finally, Qatar has bowed out of the Arabian Gulf Cup after losing to host country Iraq. Iraq will now be facing off against the winner of the second match of the day, an exciting game between Amman and Bahrain. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.